This is the Vivo Barefoot Primus Trail Knit and as the name suggests this is a firm ground trail shoe and in today's video I'm not only going to explain what that means but also what you can expect from this shoe in its ideal conditions, its weaknesses and also three places that I've used this shoe personally and been amazed by its performance that has got nothing to do with what it was originally designed for. So stick around as I go bumper to bumper on the Vivo Barefoot Primus Trail Knit FG. First things first, this is a shoe you have got to earn the right to go far in and that's because this is a barefoot shoe. That means it's zero drop, so no raise of the heel, no raise on the toe, wide toe box and with a super thin flexible sole that gives you an amazing level of proprioception. It really brings your awareness to the environment around you. And if that sounds at all airy fairy, just trust me, when you try these out for yourself, you're gonna know exactly what I mean. And if you know already, let me know in the comments down below just to help me describe that feeling. It also means that if you haven't spent time getting your body ready for running long distances in shoes like this, you could be about to enter a whole new world of pain. But I did a video explaining all of that, the history of barefoot shoes, and exactly how to easily transition, which you can check out up here. Outside of the barefoot shoe specs on this shoe, you've also got a knitted upper, you've got a functional, but in my opinion, unnecessary pull cord on the laces, and a super grippy firm ground sole. I say that these laces are unnecessary as the knitted upper is woven with elastic, giving the shoe a much more glove-like feeling. Uh, 105 kilograms dry, I've not once had these shoes move around on my foot, which for a trail shoe is a very important feature as it prevents any mistakes on the trail, which can make the difference between saving a tumble and picking up a significant injury. Also really good to know, these shoes, in my opinion, do run true to size. Use the Vivo Barefoot Size Guide if you're in any way unsure. It also means with that, I've not once picked up a blister in these shoes, something that's been true across the entire Vivo Barefoot range. And again, this is as someone with pretty protruded heels and without the foresight to remember to use the correct padding socks every time I go out for a training run. If you are looking for something with a little bit more support than the elasticated uppers provide, then a very quick tug on this pull cord will let you custom tighten the midfoot to suit you. As an example though, I recently used these shoes on a barefoot half marathon on concrete in Florida. I personally found the elasticated uppers to not only keep my foot very snug, very secure, but also they were able to expand as the temperatures started to climb and my feet started to swell out. Which brings me to the very first place that this trail shoe's versatile performance has really amazed me. The incredibly grippy firm ground sole that is designed with very thick, aggressive lug patterns for digging into dirt gravel and roots on trail is also very, very, very hard wearing. And as any barefoot runner will tell you, the flatter, the thinner the soles on the shoe, the more direct the contact that you're gonna find between the foot and the ground. I get that's kind of the point, but as that concrete half marathon got nearer as a big, heavy guy, that impact started to get very noticeable in the Primus lights with the frequency and the volume of my training runs. Swapping out to the trails was a very whimsical decision, but one that I'm very, very happy that I made because the lugs not only refuse to break down any faster than they would have done on the trail, but also they offered a little bit more cushioning underfoot, which was a revelation for the run. Last note on the product specifications is the breathability of that knitted upper. It's not only very supple, very strong, uh, impenetrable to gravel, thorns, branches, but also very breathable, which allows a free passage of air, effectively keeping the foot cool and dry on hot days. Now, that is really a very notable feature on longer distance runs, particularly if you're living in a warmer or mild climate, that one's really gonna come into its own. And one that I've really come to appreciate, although it is worth noting, Vivo does offer an all weather version of the shoe for those living in a cooler, wetter climate. All of that considered, the ideal conditions for this shoe, where it's been designed to excel and does an excellent job of it, are obviously trail running in mild to warmer climates and day long or multi day hiking, where you're going to be predominantly below the snow line. Now, it's generally at this point in the conversation, I'll get a comment saying, Clem, 
what do you mean hiking? There's no ankle support, you are completely insane. To which I will normally say something like this, when you wear barefoot shoes and you know exactly where your foot is in space, you can feel every rock, every dimple, every lump and bump through the sole. So by default, you then know exactly when you're going to start losing traction and you've got all of the time in the world to correct it by shifting your weight or resetting your foot or whatever you need to do even when you're running and you do not have that privilege when you're wearing thick padded shoes. I've not once ever fallen, slipped or tripped in barefoot shoes just because they're so effective at molding to your environment. And again, those thick cushion shoes or traditional hiking boots which clomp through it don't have that benefit. If that all sounds very airy-fairy, argy-bargy, try it, I guarantee it's gonna blow your mind. So does that mean that this shoe is perfect? No, it doesn't. It does have some weaknesses, but it is very, very close. One problem that I have noticed is traction on smooth, wet or mossy rock. The trade-off between traction and durability is very, very hard to get right, but Vivo has done it before on their Tracker Forest ESCs, which I reviewed up here. They are a specific hiking boot. They've got a sole on them that was produced by Michelin. I've had those boots for like two, maybe three years, and they are just fantastic in every condition you can throw at them. Now, if Vivo put those soles onto these shoes, in my opinion, that would just be beautiful. That said, for the price that you pay, $180 US or $162 if you use the channel discount code GT10, which gets you 10% off the entire Vivo range, no matter where you live in the world, you're welcome. You're getting an incredibly well-engineered, versatile, hard-wearing trail shoe. It's gonna go with you wherever you wanna go and do whatever you can think of doing. In my opinion, it's much more than a high-performing trail running shoe. The same features that make it so, so good at what it was designed to be doing, trail running, also make it excel as a very versatile gym shoe for anyone that does any weight training or CrossFit. I do lots of that. I've even seen some of the best power lifters in the world lifting in these shoes. Shane Hunt is a great example of that. The same goes wearing it day to day. The extra support that you get from this lug pattern just on the bottom of the sole, it means that even as someone that's relatively new to barefoot shoes, wearing it day to day is comfortable. It lets you enjoy all of the benefits of being barefoot in the office, commuting to work, whatever it is that you decide to do. I think of these shoes in the same way as the Audi R8. It is an undeniable supercar. It's got undeniable supercar performance but you could also use it as your daily driver. It's that well put together. So with all of that said, this shoe, the Primus Trail Knit FG, is the third component of my 10,000 subscriber mystery box giveaway. Entry is really simple. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel. So far in the pot, we have got these, the Primus Trail Knit FG in your choice of colorway and size, another pair of Vivo Barefoot shoes of your choice, and a set of correct toe toe spaces. Make sure that you keep up to date on the channel for more barefoot content and to be able to see what else you will be winning. And check out this video on how you can make your own cheap barefoot shoes just to tide you over until you win that giveaway. Thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions, make sure you hit me up in the comment section down below. Have a fantastic day.